Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to talk about nothing but blue skies. Our focal passage is going to come from Psalm 19 verse 1 which says, The heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. How does the sky proclaim the handiwork of God? Clouds can bring needed rain, but clouds rarely brighten someone's day. Blue skies, on the other hand, are a day or a day brightener. They also are a terrific demonstration of God's handiwork. Sunlight that reaches the earth is scattered in all directions by molecules of the air and the earth's atmosphere. The sunlight consists of all colors. The blue portion of light, the light spectrum is scattered more than the other colors because it travels a short, in shorter waves. The greater the scattering of the blue light makes the sky appear to be blue most of the time. Most of other planets in our solar system, including the Earth's closest neighbors, Mars and Venus, have atmospheres, but none have blue skies. Mars has a thin and dusty atmosphere, and the Martian sky has a light brown or orange-red color uh, when seen from the surface. The atmosphere of Venus is composed almost entirely of carbon dioxide, and the atmospheric pressure is so high that landers on the surface have cr are crushed within a few minutes. No blue skies there. Just heavy cloud cover, literally. The most important attribute of the Earth's atmosphere is not that it yields blue skies, but that it contains oxygen, which people and animals breathe. The oxygen is supplied by plants in the process of photosynthesis. Plants use light energy to convert carbon to carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates, giving off oxygen as a byproduct. That oxygen forms almost 21% of the Earth's atmosphere, whereas carbon dioxide is only 0.04%. The Earth's atmosphere also manages to manages the radiation that comes from the sun and from the heat and manages the heat that comes from the sun. The atmosphere filters out harmful ultraviolet radiation while storing and redistributing solar energy. Water vapor and carbon dioxide in the air trap heat from the sun via the greenhouse effect, thereby keeping the Earth's surface warm, especially at night. And the winds circulate warm air from hotter areas to colder areas. Truly, the sky proclaims God's handiwork and demonstrates how much that He truly does love us. So let's look at this passage in context. Psalm 19, verses 1 through 14. The heavens declare the glory of, of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pour out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and the words to the end of the earth. In them he will set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit is the end to them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and enduring forever. And the rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be despised than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant warned, and keeping them 
there is great reward. Who can discern that his errors declare me innocent from hidden faults? Keep me back, or keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. If you are like most people, then you probably take the earth's atmosphere for granted and rarely consider how wondrous it truly is. What are some things that you have taken for granted? How can you stop doing that? Psalm 19 praises the law, testimony, precepts, commands, fear, and the rules of the Lord. Which of these is the most important to you? Which one or ones do you rarely consider? We don't talk much about keeping God's law. What rule does the law play in your everyday life and what role should it play? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, every breath that we take is a reminder of how much you love us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.